I used Tinkercad to design this full-size SD card mounting bracket and fan shroud for my Ender 3. I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. The micro SD card on the Ender 3 is incredibly difficult to put in and take out. And because I print with an SD card all the time, this is a real pain. So I wanted a full size adapter. So I went on to Thingiverse and I found this one by user Bill Souza. I kind of liked the design, but then I didn't like it because I wanted to add a fan shroud and I want the SD card coming out the front. So I loaded in his file and I went to work hacking it up and modifying it in Tinkercad. I will be the first one to admit this thing is ugly. It's functional, but it's ugly. I took his bracket, chopped it up, I used his SD card slot so that would fit, and then I just started adding pieces until I got what I wanted. I didn't spend a lot of time on this, obviously, so functionally it's good, but aesthetically it's just, it's not a pretty print. But everything is in place, the holes for the screws all line up, I even have a hole on the side for a cable, I'll explain that in a bit. So once I had this, to this point, I exported it and brought it into Simplify 3D. Now to print it to minimize supports, I printed it standing up like this. And I did have a few spots for supports, so I used the support tool in Simplify 3D, used an 8mm post, and just dropped them in place, and that's how I did it. And then I went to Edit Process Settings. I'm using my Ender 3 profile. It started out as Filament Frenzy's profile, and in printing at a 0.2 layer height, I am using a skirt and brim, and I'm using a raft. I'll explain that in a bit why I did that. 25% fill, uh, 60 degrees in a bed, 215 temperature, 50 millimeters per second, and I enabled single wall extru extrusion so I would hopefully get those letters to come out. And it kind of worked. So then I hit prepare to print, and this is why I did a raft. See this thin wall? I wanted it to stick to the bed good, so that's why I used a raft. And the raft came off pretty easy, so it wasn't a problem. It said it would take 7 hours and 14 minutes, so I actually printed it overnight, and I used my Filament Friday Filament Red color. And here's the result. And to be honest with you, it's a lousy print. I was not happy with the results. I got waves on the side, and the letters really weren't that great. I'm going to have to reprint this. You can see up close here. Just see the wave? Turns out my bed, I had to loosen the bed on the ender to get some good prints, and now it's too loose. This thing must have been wiggling and moving while it printed, and that's where the waves came from, because it's in that same direction. There's three screws I need to remove. One is on top here. It's a small Allen head screw. And once that one's out, then the two in the front need to come out. And they're a little bit bigger. And make sure you catch them because I dropped this one. It hit my toe and bounced onto the bench and I had to dig for it. So I got both of those out. And then here's the bracket. Now, this is how the cable would go in. This is why I have a hole on the side. If you want to print with USB, then it comes out the side and you can still have the SD card. So I designed it to come out the side here. I'm not going to use that. I rarely use a USB cable. This is what I want, an SD card adapter. I got this one on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And it fits tight inside this thing. But first you have to feed the cable through. Now I'm actually feeding this upside down it looks like. But it's because I want the SD card to be in a certain orientation. So I have to feed it in this way and then I'm going to have to flip this cable. So I pulled it all the way through and then obviously twisted this cable until I got it in the right orientation and then just pushed this into place and it fit nice and tight. This is the dimensions I got from his original design and it worked great. I folded up the ribbon cable and taped it in place and then flipped it so this would go in the proper direction. I plugged it into the normal slot for the micro SD card, just pushed it in. And once it was locked in, then I could put this cover on and install the screws. I started with the big one in front, and this seemed to hold everything. Once I got this screw in place, you could almost stop there. But I put the one on top because I'm going to be pulling the card out. There's not a lot of force, but I still wanted that. And then I finally put the last screw in. This one kind of fought me a little bit, but once I got them all in, this thing was solid. And if I pick it up, it goes with the printer. So now I have a full-size SD card with easy access, and I have a fan shroud to stop stuff from falling into the fan, all in one 3D print. It may be ugly, but it works. If you're looking for an Ender 3, I do have a link in the description. It helps the channel, and it's shipped from a U.S. warehouse, so you don't have to wait 10 days to get it. 
Anyway, if you like this video, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on that chip logo and subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.